Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, well, sometimes I forget how many Barbie dolls there are of celebrities over the years. You know, Barbie has made a lot of Barbie dolls uh, that look very much alike to their celebrity counterparts. So in this video, in this first top 10 video, I'm going to show y'all the top 10 celebrity Barbie dolls. So let's get into it. The order in which I will show you these dolls is randomized. It's in no particular order to like my favorites or whatever. These are just some celebrity dolls that I came across in the internet and I wanted to share them with you. So first up, yeah. we have Beyonce Knowles, more specifically in her era of Destiny's Child, accompanied by Michelle and Kelly as well. So yeah, Barbie made um, dolls of these three wonderful ladies while they were still together in the band, in the girl group. Um, and they each came with a little charm bracelet that had um, the exact same star pendant, but in different shades. So for Michelle, it was in baby blue for kelly it was in bright yellow and then for beyonce it was in pink um these three came sold separately and they each came with a unique poster i believe that had a signature on it um yeah the boxes are pink um i'm not i'm not sure if there's if they are part of a specific line like i'm not sure if the pink label uh, Barbie collector line or like you know like the system they have pink label black label gold label platinum label I'm not sure if that was existing at the time because they did get released really early in um, the early years of 20 uh, 2005 not sure if I mentioned that already, but um, yeah, that was a while ago. Uh, so yeah, it's really awesome to see Beyonce having her own doll. I feel like that I never knew she had one, so this is crazy. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if these dresses are based on anything particular, um, but they look stunning nonetheless. I would love to get a Beyonce doll here because I love the dress. It's in pink and I kind of need her now. <laughs> <laughs> I know she exists, but uh, yeah, all of them vary in prices on eBay for Beyonce. She might cost like 99 or over 100 alone. And for all three of them, it varies from 300 to 700. So yeah, it seems like these dolls are a little bit expensive on eBay. Next up, we have Cindy Lauper. Yes, she also received her very own Barbie doll in 2009. Part of the Ladies of the 80s Barbie Pink Label series. Um, and yeah, I'm not familiar with Cindy. I'm not familiar with Cindy Lauper, so I can't tell you where this dress is coming from. The design, if it's taking inspiration from a dress she wore at a concert or something. Um, I think I've seen it before, so I'm pretty sure it's an iconic look of hers. Um, especially that hair. Oh my God, get the look, the face up. I feel like looks very much like Cindy Lauper. I love how she's holding out her dress. And there's even this really sweet picture of Cindy Lauper herself holding the Barbie doll in her hands. And look at that resemblance, y'all. It's her little daughter or something, like a mini me. Literally, <laughs> that's so iconic. I love that. Now, for her prices on eBay are not too expensive, actually. She's varying around 90 um, to over a hundred so you know pretty good not too bad um and she does is she is on a model music from body. one legend to another next up we have Cher and for her there's actually multiple doll releases from Barbie first we have this outfit that she wore inspired um this outfit that was designed by Bob Mackie that she wore while performing if I could turn back time very iconic even I know she's worn something like this and I I'm not a like I don't listen to share music. I've never seen her in movies, so it's it's an iconic look for now, her. Now she's a black label. She got released in 2007, and then this doll, this timeless treasure share doll, um, came out in 2001, and she doesn't have a label. So um, I, yeah, she was the first one to come out, so she she didn't come with a label like pink label or something. Um, and then the other, there's other two share dolls. We have this iconic look of hers, also designed by Bob Mackie. Um, I'm not sure when this one came out. I, I want to say also similar to the other one, 2007, around that time period. Um, I'm not, I've although I know this look is iconic because I just look at this doll. <laughs> um, I've never actually seen her in this outfit. I've, I think I've heard of like, you know, it was like a big thing at one point. So 
definitely happened. And I mean, this looks awesome on the Barbie doll. And then this next Barbie doll, she's like a ringleader, like a circus ringleader. Um, and she is also inspired by a Bob Mackie outfit that she wore. Um, this one is platinum label. The other one is also, the other one we just saw is a black label. This one is a platinum label. You guys, platinum label is like the highest label. It's like the most rare dolls Barbie has ever made. So that's saying a lot. And like, I mean, it's completely justifiable because this doll like is iconic. I mean, I'm again, I'm not familiar with like Cher's uh, videography, you know, like her looks and stuff. But um, this look is like my favorite. Just like look at that outfit giving me Britney Spears, like, <laughs> you know, but um, obviously she did it first. <laughs> she came first. She's a queen. Um, I would love to get her. But again, platinum label. <laughs> So now, while maybe we're not going to be able to get that one specifically, you could actually get one of the other two more recent, uh, more um, common share dolls. Uh, this one, if I could turn back time, she goes from like 40, like really cheap to like 90, like most expensive I've seen is like a hundred. So um, definitely there's uh, various share dolls on eBay that are not too expensive, like a hundred times. Moving on, we're going to Jennifer Lopez. Now, Jennifer Lopez, she also has multiple Barbie dolls that were made uh, uh, after her likeness. So first up, we have this red carpet Jennifer Lopez doll. Um, this was inspired by a red carpet look she actually wore in real life. She has a big, long kind of mermaid tail dress with white and beige stripes. Um, she has her hair in a bun. And and she is, I think, one of the only celebrity Barbie dolls that has two different head sculpts specific to her because in this doll, she has the kind of pouting look. And then in the second doll, which is inspired by her world tour getup, uh, her iconic bedazzle kind of like jumpsuit, um, skin tight jumpsuit, mind you, like Britney Spears once again. <laughs> Um, so this one, she's smiling. Here she's smiling. So you can see there's two different molds completely in her likeness. So that is amazing. She has her curly waves flowing in the air, some silver boots. Um, and actually there's a video of her talking about the doll. So let's take a look at that right here. It hasn't really sunk in yet that I am um, part of the Barbie family. Working on the Jennifer Lopez dolls was like a dream come true. She was a dream partner. She's so polished and glamorous and sort of everything you would hope that a celebrity would be. Barbie has grown into all different ethnicities and you know I thought it was important to have a Latina Barbie, but a Latina Barbie that was real. Show different sides that you could actually be many different things. So we work really closely with the sculpting team and also with the assets that her team provide. Those are the two that are my heart, right there. That's, that's the core of who I am. I'm an artist at the end of the day. I am a singer and I am an actress. I'm a performer. But with mine, I really wanted to make sure that the, the shape of the body and the hair and the face wasn't exactly just like a Barbie face of me, but really, you know, had the nose and the cheekbones. The red carpet doll has a more sort of pouting mouth. The world tour doll has a sort of broad smiling face and really like feels like a very vivacious Jennifer Lopez on stage. Fashion for me has always been kind of an expression of what I'm feeling and who I am on that day. And we did the gowns that, and the clothes that Zuhair Murad, her designer, actually created for her. Recreating authentic miniatures of those pieces that the doll is actually gonna be wearing. Both dolls were released in 2014 and they are both black label dolls. Now for the red carpet doll, she's much more common on eBay from 100 to a little over. The world tour one, however, she's a little more rare and a little more expensive as well. But you know, try your luck on eBay. There's a bunch of listings and you might just get lucky and find the world tour one because that one is the more iconic one. Honestly, like if I were to get one, I would want to get her, but she's also more expensive for some reason, even though they are both black label they're the same label they're the same amount of rarity you, you know what i mean so like it doesn't make sense why they're why she's more rare so 
you know, it's weird. <laughs> we have Gigi Hadid's Tommy Hilfiger Barbie Black Label doll. Now she was released. She's one of the one of the most recent uh, celebrity Barbie dolls. Um, she was released back in 2017. Um, and like I mentioned, obviously, as you can tell, this was a partnership with Tommy Hilfiger as well, because not only is the face up exclusive to her, uh, completely new just for Gigi and her likeness, but also the clothes she's wearing, the shorts, the sweater, um, they all incorporate some kind of Tommy Hilfiger um, symbolism, you know, the text and then the iconic uh, flag, the, the red and white on the, on the sweater. So like there's a lot of Tommy Hilfiger inspired um, pieces here. I mean, the whole outfit's Tommy Hilfiger, basically. Uh, you're, pay you're basically paying for the Tommy Hilfiger brand name. Um, and on eBay, the prices are actually not too bad. They're really good. Um, they do vary, obviously, like always, but mostly she goes around uh, for 100 to less. Really just depends how lucky you get. Up, we have the one and only iconic model Heidi Klum. She got her Barbie doll in 2009 and it's called the Blonde Ambition Pink Label Heidi Klum doll. Now, since it is pink label, it is more common and because it's more common, it means it's not as expensive on eBay. We do have actually a video for her uh, doll as well. She interacts with her doll. It's really funny. It's really sweet. She goes, to, the Barbie doll goes to Fashion Week. So let's take a look at that really quick here as well. Hi, YouTubers. It's Heidi. Uh, Barbie is Heidi, and I just came back from New York Fashion Week, and it was fabulous. And I have to say that I think that I did a better report than Heidi could have ever done it. Really? I find that hard to believe. Oh my god, you're back already? I know, don't you love my dress? That was so fast. So you went to New York Fashion Week, so tell me all about it. I wanna hear everything. Oh my God, it just like never stopped. I went from place to place to place to place and from show to show in the tents and the people and the fashion. <sighs> and it was so overwhelming that at one point I just had to take a little rest. So you saw the Michael Kors show? I mean, that's always the most important show to watch. What can I say? The clothes were just fantastic. I also love the clear plastic. Oh! So who was the most exciting person that you saw? Well, I think I would have to say Michael. Hi, honey. And you know, <clears throat> I had a little bit of an idea, but I, 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 I'm not sure if I'm gonna tell you about it. Oh really, you had an idea? Why you don't wanna tell me? Michael, well, you know that Heidi is at home. You know, she's eight and a half months pregnant, but let me tell you something a little quieter because you know, I was thinking, why don't you and I do a reality television show? Oh, is there another reality show in the in the works, Heidi? Not yet, but I think that we should do one. Barbie, are you gonna do your own show? What language do we speak, Barbie? Well, <clears throat> I should have never mentioned it. Who else did you meet? Uh, um, um, what's her name again? Um, uh, Carolina. No, Alessandra. It's Heidi. <laughs> I ran into Alessandra and she was so sweet. I love the dress. I know, it's so sparkly. She's a sweetheart, I love her. She's one of my angel friends. She actually meant to tell you that the kids should have a play date. Let's take the kids to the park. That's a great idea, I have to call her. Rachel Zoll. Hi Heidi Barbie, how are you? Are you enjoying Fashion Week? I love you, I love you, I love you. Have fun. You're glamorous. Mwah. I was overwhelmed almost, like I didn't know what to say. I know Rachel, she's a fashionista and she's a very, very busy person, but she was cool. Does Michael charge you or does he just give you the stuff? And then I ran into Mario Testino. I mean, the Mario Testino. You ran into Mario Testino. I mean, he is like one of the best photographers ever. I would just love to have my picture taken him. Well, I would say don't bend down too much. That is funny. I mean, he's kind of right. The skirt is a little short. That's why you wear this cute little pink little underwear. And did you see Christian Siriano? Hi, Christian. Oh my God, you look so fierce. Hey, girl. You know, I love Christian. He was one of my all time favorites on Project Runway. What else happened? I think I'm a little verschwitzed. I think I need a little blush and I think that I need a little bit um, powder. Now that Heidi just has, you know, her baby and stuff, I think that I might step in for her for the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. <laughs> and look, I got my first pair of wings. You know, 
know, I think that you did such a fabulous job for me. I really feel now that I was there myself. So thank you very much. So mm, I think that we should do this from now on all the time, that you go and I can just hang out here in Los Angeles and, and play with the kids. This is the world of Modelinia. You guys, how cute was that? That was so fun and cute to watch. Jesus Christ, that was just <laughs> that was so fun. Like, can you imagine someone else having so much fun with their own doll? And I guess I should co correct myself. It's not a Heidi Klum doll. It's Barbie as Heidi Klum. Excuse me, but it's kind of hard to um, see where the line. That that line is very gray because when it's like Barbie as, or is it just? A Barbie doll of the celebrity. So, anyways, um, her dress obviously the sequins and pink and gold, iconic. I love her look, and I definitely want to get this doll myself. Um, she does retail on eBay from varying prices. Once again, from a hundred to over a hundred, so still very much affordable in in the sense of like she's not at least like five hundred. <laughs> Next up, we have the pop sensation herself, Miss Shakira. She also got a Barbie doll, but not just one. She got like over six. Yes, she got a whole line released of Barbie dolls just of her in the year two thousand two, and it was called rockin concert um they had so many looks inspired by things she wore his she had worn already in that year iconic looks of hers so let's break them down so the first look was of inspired by whenever wherever the second look was inspired by the costumes of the one the third look was inspired by the look used on the red carpet of the latin grammy 2000 awards and then the fourth look was inspired by a look used in the Latin Grammys 2000s rehearsals. The fifth look was inspired by the red carpet look of the Divas in Las Vegas in 2002. And then the sixth look was inspired by the laundry service era. The seventh look was inspired by the look of the 2001 Grammy Awards. And then the eighth look, it's the last one I think, <laughs> inspired by the tour of the Mongoose costumes. Okay. Y'all, so many looks that they adapted onto these dolls. Um, and I think in this picture, we can see all of them together. Um, one of them has a, one of them comes with a second outfit. So that's why there's only um, seven here, not eight. So yeah, that is Now insane. the prices for these vary a lot. They go from 20 to 50 to 60. And not only that, but it seems like not even all of the dolls that we just saw are listed on eBay. Uh, it seems there's some that are more common than others. And so completing the collection might be just a little bit harder than actually just the price. I feel like the price here is not actually that big of a hurdle because most of them seem to be very cheap. Um, and it's more like just not all of them are listed, interestingly enough. Maybe some are more rare than Now, these others. last three Barbie dolls are not actually Barbie dolls that were like mass produced. So you can, so like you can buy them in a store. These three were actually just specially made uh, for special occasions for special, very big people. Um, and so these you cannot buy, no one can buy them. These are just one of a kind. There's only one of them in existence. So that is amazing. So first up we have the Nicki Minaj Barbie doll. I'm gonna read a portion of the Barbie wiki for this doll now. So it reads, the Nicki Minaj Barbie doll is a one of a kind Barbie doll that was made in 2011. People reported that at press time, the bid for this doll was 4,855. Hey dolls, it's finally happened. Your fave Harajuku Barbie has collaborated with her doll idol and the result is fab. Nicki Minaj has recently been named Billboard's Rising Star of the Year, but now the rapper, singer, and songwriter is larger than life as an over-the-top 11-inch fashion doll. Nicki's original, one-of-a-kind likeness is beautiful in a dazzling replica of the frothy dress from her Pink Friday album. She practically floats in wispy layers of silk, charmeuse, and shimmering tulle, and of course, she's rocking some Barbie bling. <laughs> 
From Nikki's cotton candy pink hair to her hand rooted eyelashes, fantastic designer Stephen Sumner recreated every signature detail right down to the tattoo on Nikki's left arm. He even hand placed each crystal accent on her jewelry. This amazing original one of a kind Nicki Minaj doll comes with a certificate of authenticity and a display case that is a gorgeous homage to her Pink Friday album. At Billboard's Women in Music event, Nicki Minaj said it's just a one of a kind limited edition for a charity and I never even thought Mattel would pay attention to me. For me, this is a very major moment because it just shows that you can come from nothing and still be a force in the main world, a businesswoman and hopefully a mogul one so, day. So yeah, if you ever saw this doll anywhere on Pinterest or something and you wish you could maybe get her, I'm sorry to say this is literally a one of a kind doll and since she has been auctioned off she hasn't been resold and i think i even read that you cannot resell her so this is like yeah because it was for charity and it was yeah so this is like crazy and she's it's so sad because she looks so stunning and like honestly i feel like a lot of us would pay a lot of money to get her and i feel like mattel should you know should maybe think about maybe you know redoing this doll because i f i think a lot of people would, would be willing to pay a high price for this doll because look at her dress look at her likeness and you can tell it's nikki you know not just from the hair the dress or the, literally the cover of her face in the background like you can just tell it's nikki her smile the eyes the bangs this look is iconic in her uh videography of music and music videos like it's just it's an albums like it, you look at this and you know who this is so I'm so happy that at least they collaborated at one point, Barbie and Nicki Minaj. And maybe one day they will again. Who knows? Um, this doll is just stunning. And the, even the display with the crystals, like, are you kidding me? This is this doll completely encapsulates the thing larger than uh, larger than life because she is larger than life literally she's like floating away next up we have the katy perry barbie doll now once again i'm gonna read a little section of the barbie wiki for this doll so let's start here katy cats don't let this amazing original one-of-a-kind california dream doll be the one that got away inspired by katy's scrumptious cupcake dress her stunning look like doll is just as yummy in an outfit that features 70 hand-painted mini cupcakes a candy color glitter kiss bodice and fishnet stockings dotted with shimmering Swarovski crystal. Mattel designer Amy Lee captured every Katie detail right down to her hand-painted tattoos, sparkling pink shoes, and glittered candy cane mic. Katie Perry doll is ready to display with her too sweet to eat waffle cone stage complete with swirly pops, ice cream mountains, and cotton candy clouds. Your original one-of-a-kind collectible comes with a certificate of authenticity and a display case that's pure eye candy. Katy Perry reacted to the doll in a deleted scene from her 2012 documentary, Katy Perry, Part of Me. Perry said, that's amazing. Oh, the lashes are so long. I love her. Even my nail polish is perfect. God is in the details and she's gorgeous. I love this so much. Perry also tweeted about the doll. And once again, she came with her own customized one of a kind stage that looks like sweets and cotton candy and, and ice cream. And are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> this and even gummy bears you can see at the bottom there's so many sweets you guys this this doll stage and a doll and a cupcakes and a dress and all the details it's a, honestly again larger than life this is a stunning doll and uh i mean i can totally understand why they only made one for a charity event so but still totally worth and it and lastly we have the barbie zendaya doll the zendaya barbie doll was released in 2015 it was part of the barbie shiro barbie line. is honoring zendaya for encouraging girls to raise their voices with a one-of-a-kind doll to be presented at the barbie rock and rolls concert experience on september 26 2015 at the hollywood palladium doll created in her likeness commemorates her iconic Vivian Westwood look from the 2015 Oscars red carpet where she inspired people of all ages to stand up for themselves. Zendaya will host the Barbie Rock and Rolls concert this month, an experiential event benefiting VH1 Save the Music Foundation. I'm excited to be a part of the new direction the Barbie brand is headed in, specifically how they are celebrating diversity in the line and encouraging kids to raise their voices, said Zendaya. It's a positive message to send to my fans, including my niece 
nieces who are coming with me to the concert. Earlier this year, Barbie introduced more diversity into their fashionistas line, including 23 new dolls featuring 8 skin tones, 14 different sculpts, 18 eye colors, and 23 different hair wow. colors. Wow, I mean, look at this doll. I mean, this definitely looks like Zendaya, a one-to-one -one complete copy of her like the baby hairs the face it looks like her a hundred percent she looks stunning the dress the whole recreation of her look from the oscars is just impeccable from all the from the last little details um and we actually have two videos here showcasing more of zendaya at the event and speaking more on how important First, diversity is the barbie the big reveal what, what did you feel what was going through your mind that was a lot honestly i was i mean i'm honored because I didn't decide what look sh this Barbie was going to have. Barbie actually, you know, took the initiative to make it something that was an important moment for me and I think a lot of people out in the world, you know what I mean? I think this is such a big moment. It's showcasing different types of beauty. It's showcasing different types of women. Barbie is diversifying. Barbie doesn't look like she used to look. <laughs> when I was younger, I didn't really have a Barbie doll because I didn't really have one that looked like Zendaya. It didn't quite have the same features or it didn't quite have the same hair. and. I just didn't connect to it like a lot of, I think, other girls did. Zendaya's Barbie is modeled after her 2015 Oscars look. The same look that sparked a whirlwind of controversy for Juliana Rancic when she commented on the 19-year-old's hair. I feel like she, she smells like patchouli oil. <laughs> Maybe we? I think it's definitely time to have a Barbie like this. It's opening the doors for a lot of women, women of color, of all different backgrounds. I think that that's really, really exciting. For you, favorite feature on this doll? Other than the hair, they got that down. Yeah. Like they were, they were telling you know, because it's such a the hair was obviously so important to me. They took their time and they made it perfect. But literally, like there's so much detail. They got my eyebrows, my baby hairs. <laughs> the detail, people. Uh, I mean, the hair is perfect. Um, and they got the little things on little the beans, hair, yeah. my highlights. Every part of the dress, my pinky ring, that's so dope. <laughs> I was little, I didn't connect so much with Barbie because I didn't have a Barbie that looked like me, which is why I appreciate so much what they're doing now. Barbie is expanding and Barbie is not necessarily what she was then, you know, she's expanding and opening up different doors and forms of beauty and showing, you know, that there's more than one Barbie out there, which I think is really, really cool and very, very important for young people. Oh my god, that concert, like the little event, looked like such a good time. Look at all those kids having such a good time meeting their idols and Daya, who was obviously hosting at the at the event. Um, and I mean, yeah, again, this doll, stunning piece of art. I'm just so happy that Barbie really collaborated with Zendaya on this and really just to get the word out to encourage, encourage kids and to really just spread more diversity that is long overdue. So yeah, and remember this was back in like 2015. So like that, it's been a while, it's been, been a while and uh, things have certainly changed. So, you know, this is good, this is good. I, I wish we would get more Zendaya dolls, honestly, because we don't have any. I I really I really hope we get more Zendaya dolls that are like mass produced. But yeah, that was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did. Be sure to leave me any thoughts or questions when we have down below. Let me know what you thought of my very first top 10 video. Uh, do you... Did you know any of these celebrities had these Barbie dolls? Which one's your favorite? Which one would you love to own yourself? And which celebrity dolls do you hope to see in the future? Let me know down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when I post more Barbie doll news. A bunch more content coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love. Stay safe. Be kind. I hope this next time. Stay beachy. Kisses.